Yo, what's happening, Moro? Name's Ryan Flowers. Just hopped out the shower. It's all going high. I'm not. I know I got the weed hat on. Just a wee bit tired, but I just want to speak a little bit about that whole circumstance that transpired with my man Kendrick Lamar and that new single, Be Humble, which I'm frankly not fond of, even though the video was awesome. But shout out to Kendrick. I love the hard part four. But anyhow, heard these feminists were trying to come at his neck because of a line that he said. It started off about not liking broads that are photoshopped and then something along the lines of preferring women with natural hair. Here we go with the shaving tactics. Once again, my man Kendrick Lamar had to face it from... Rashida Brown because of his woman or his fiance that he's known since he was young, light skin. Now they want to get on his ass because he said something in his song, Be Humble, and now he's saying something disrespectful towards him. First he was a coon who was toe struck because he got a light skin girl and it apparently contradicted a song on some hip hop other for I call complexion. And now they want to bitch about how Kendrick is disrespecting women and shaming women because he said he prefers women with natural hair. But any man with sense, and especially any black man with sense, would want a woman with natural hair. That's why you have a lot of these ladies out here, these black women out here, who go and just switch up their dialect, their attitude, and even alter that weave they have in their head. Yup. And this is not just to go on some diatribe about black women, because by now, this is what is expected. You see that recently in the so-called manosphere of YouTube and the black sector of YouTube, quote-unquote, you saw how Simone56 just terminated a bunch of channels and content by a lot of brothers. Now, even, hey, anybody can be touched. These, these sisters, these black feminists, these feminazi broads, they going on a tirade, and they making sure that your days are numbered, black men. <laughs> even Kendrick. Kendrick is a man who's of a high stature. Kendrick is a man who is has a lot of conscious music, a lot of his content, and he's not above that. Just like when Kendrick made that line on the, uh, the Black of the Berry on the Pimple Butterfly when he said, so why do I weep about Trayvon Martin in the streets when gang banging got me killing niggas blacker than me? Hypocrite. And I've heard people gripe about that. It's like, everybody wants to look at you as the people's champion, but as soon as you don't pander to their ego, and Kendrick is learning this, and I know he knows this, as soon as you don't pander to motherfuckers' egos, now you a coon, now you're a woman hater, now you're a sellout, you're power struck, all these stigmas. Cause you call them bullshit out. Well, guess what? This age of cultural Marxism will come to an end, and there's about to be a renaissance that goes on, where people have to be authentic, not a polyphical, new word I learned, basically, fake. Yeah. I salute Kendrick for all his endeavors. I've been rocking with Kendrick since 2011 especially during the section 80 days and I still rock with him in 2017 it's not going nowhere as long as he continues to stay consistent <sighs> even though I did not like Be Humble maybe it has to grow on me but I did not like it I like, I love the video but the song the lyrics eh, it's not bad but it's like eh but yeah Kendrick keep doing your thing don't let these black feminists and these feminazis across the board try to shut you down and silence you. They deserve the donkey of the day. Yup. 
let them just whine because when I when I see Alicia Keys put on a hijab or a niqab with the Muslim Maz wear, and it's kind of, it's like symbolizes something sexual. I mean, that's an insult to women in Saudi Arabia who's getting beat the fuck out of, or Yemen, or about Sudan. How about Somalia? Certain parts of Ethiopia, Egypt, Pakistan, parts of India. But a lot of these women want to complain about the injustices in America because they may not get noticed in a way that they want to be noticed. How demented is that? How arrogant is that? That you try to talk about whatever issues go on to women in the West, which are often fabricated or hyperbolic. But then you don't even want to acknowledge your sisters in the Eastern part of the world. Or how about even in the Western Hemisphere, like women in Brazil getting their ass beat? That's why you gotta shake your head And you just really gotta You gotta listen to how a lot of these women Who claim to be feminists talk Hell I've even heard many feminists On pages on Facebook Talk about how a lot of feminists Here in the western hemisphere Tend to be on some fraudulent bitchy Entitled shit So that should tell you a lot But you're only as strong as your weakest link So It's like I always say You gotta unapologetically separate yourself from those individuals. Otherwise, they will infect your movement, and then that's just how the world will view you throughout the magnifying glass. So, in short, that's how I look at it. Salute to you, Kendrick, for speaking the truth, and I really do hope you bring the industry on the ice pack, like you said on the hard part four. Don't break. Be humble yourself, and don't forget who you are, as you will be 30 years old, brother, come June, June 17th, I believe, yeah, I'm out.